Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to look at the new largest iceberg on planet Earth. So big, it could easily accommodate nearly 8 million people. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Also, I want to share a photo that was sent in by Polenta today from California of what appears to be a white halo in the sky around the sun. It's not necessarily centered around the sun like a, a typical halo would with color but then again this doesn't have color so it's something definitely unique it could be a camera anomaly i don't know a lot of times when you take photographs of the sun you can get some wild artifacts that show up in the finished product maybe that's what's going on here but either way there is a white ring that appears to be in the sky around the sun also in this video i want to touch briefly on the extreme solar activity we've seen in the last 48 hours you're looking at dark plasma flying out of that active region on the earth facing side of the sun that saw a series of 12 solar flares out of that active region see the dark plasma right there look at that i'm telling you that's something you don't see very often you really don't i'm a long time sun watcher and i don't recall seeing dark plasma on the regular very often at all but they're talking about it over here at spaceweather.com they made mention of the dark plasma flying into space on May 22nd when all of this began. But what I wanted to talk about, not only the solar flare frenzy that saw 12 solar flares, C's and M's in 24 hours, they generated a huge solar radio burst. All of this energy right there when it impacted planet Earth, and it was in the form of a shock wave, like they're talking right here, shock waves and electron beams. Well, this created a solar burst here on Earth that was detected on the daylight side of planet Earth by Thomas Ashcroft out of New Mexico. In fact, it was so strong, it drowned out the lightning static from a severe thunderstorm. Not only did it do that, it was picked up on the dark side of the Earth, this energy was. That just doesn't happen. Usually whenever there's radio bursts, they're on the daylight side of the Earth, not the dark. But this burst you see right here over in Norway was picked up after dark from this flurry of intense solar activity. And again, it was only an M1 solar flare. I think there was two M1 solar flares. There was something very unique about that active region and that dark plasma that was flying from that sunspot facing the Earth. We'll have to keep a close eye on solar cycle 25 as it's starting to get more and more interesting. I mentioned at the beginning of the video a large iceberg has calved off of Antarctica, 105 miles long, 15 miles wide. This image is from the ESA Sentinel satellite. Also, here's a video from the ESA Sentinel satellite of the very large, now the largest on Earth. Again, that's over 100 miles. It's 105 miles long, 15 miles wide. For comparison's sake, I inserted Long Island, New York. Long Island, New York is 120 miles long and approximately 20 miles wide. Some places it's less, some places it's more, but on average, about 20 miles wide. So this is almost the size of Long Island, New York, so it could accommodate around 8 million people. There's 7.8 million people that live in Long Island, New York. That's how big this iceberg is, over 100 miles long, and it is now the largest on planet Earth. Got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Angela and Lena out of Cincinnati, Ohio, got what looks like three whales diving through the sky. That's what compelled them to take the photo. Very unique. Brandon G. out of Maine. Very intense halo around the sun, a partial halo, and then a full jumbo halo. Daniel got an interesting video here of the moon. Again, I'm not sure if this is some sort of a aperture anomaly, some sort of recording artifact. Either way, good little video of the full moon from Colorado. He also noticed the Starlink as it was flying over the state of Colorado a few days ago. And this very intense dark cloud that's got three points of light in the center of the dark cloud, once again, above Colorado. Good observations by Daniel. David, out of the United Kingdom, fiery orange sky. And then you've got what looks like a hole punch cloud, and you've got an orange cloud falling through 
the center of the hole of the hole punch cloud in the sky. Dwayne S. Not sure of the location, but he noticed a white unidentified flying object in the sky. Said it wasn't a bird, wasn't a plane, wasn't a helicopter, and did not appear to be a balloon. Photo here sent in by Martin, taken by Aliska out of Prague of a very intense low to the ground double decker rainbow. Aaron out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is one of the recent rocket launches she noticed from the southeastern coast of Florida a few days ago. Victoria, Australia. Photo sent in by Katie of yet another jumbo halo in the sky in the proximity of the sun jessica l from idaho very colorful clouds and this halo here had some interference you don't normally see that when you see a halo it usually dominates the sky this one here had some interference in front of the halo and this is the same halo just a few minutes later and there it is in its entirety 360 degrees kermit c not exactly sure of the location big fluffy roll clouds in the sky just dominated the entire sky lisa out of whitmore lake michigan fiery orange sky that looks like a set of hands over here holding a ball of light in the sky great observation by by lisa out of michigan billy out of newport oregon this kind of looked like a crown a colorful crown in the sky really weird looking cloud structures in the sky above oregon that caught billy's attention and that's what compelled him to take the unique photos and i also received yet another sighting of this very strange pink anomaly in the evening sky this little video clip is from virginia beach virginia i've also received photos from from North Carolina from multiple places and the Turks and Caicos and again this is in the evening sky so this is self illuminating this is not being illuminated by the Sun at all great job guys keep the photos coming if you have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr. MBB 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there